All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this HP, let's see, this is a HP Envy Notebook PC, uh, model number 17T-U100. So first what you wanna do is remove the rubber foot here, okay? Um, if the adhesive comes uh, away from the rubber piece, you have to remove the adhesive from the inside, okay? When you put it back, put the adhesive first and then you can put the rubber piece back. Um, under here, there's three PH1 screws, so remove those three, and then remove these T5 screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remove all eight T5 screws. After you do that, um, you'll want to go towards the back here, and then use a pry tool or your fingernail. As you can see here, there's a gap. Um, just stick your fingernails or pry tool in there, and then you can pry it up and pull it out. So slide your fingernails across and then just lift the cover up just like this. Okay, the cover will pop out and there you go. All right, so in here I'm going to be replacing the SSD. Um, I'm going to upgrade it to another M.2 SATA SSD. Um, so it looks like there is a slot for a two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive, but the connector is missing. So depending on your model, check to make sure what kind of hard drive your computer is using. You want to open it and check. Don't assume that yours is the same as this model. Okay, so the battery is SG03XL. If you need to replace the battery, that's how you do it. That's the model. Um, to disconnect the connector, you just go at the wings and kind of just wiggle it with your fingernails or pry tools and then you can pull it out just like that. Okay, after you disconnect the battery, it's a good always a good idea to press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds just to drain any power from the main board. All right, all right, there's a safety thing. Um, the most important thing, um, usually for most components, you don't need to do this. This is more if you're gonna mess with the LCD or LVDS cable. Um, I'm not going to do that, but just to be safe, I do that anyways. Okay, so underneath here, uh, let me take the battery out just to show you. Um, this I'm going to have to do quick because I need to return the computer to my customer soon. But anyways, there are four screws holding it in place. Try and keep the screws in order. You don't want to get them all mixed up. Oh, now Cortana's talking. Let me mute her. Yep. All right, so remove the four screws for the battery. Okay, just like that. Once you remove the four screws, you can lift the battery out just like that. Okay, um, so here you can see the keyboard cable, the keyboard backlight cable, the trackpad cable. All these cables, they disconnect the same way. Um, let's see if I can zoom in to show you. Um, but basically, you just flip up the little latch like that, and then you can pull the connector out. You do have to lift this one up slightly because there are little wings. Um, but other than that, once you take it out, you can just put it back in, um, just like this. Okay, so pull it out, and then to put it back in, you just use the same thing. The little blue tab makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then you just make sure you insert it straight. Don't put it at an angle and then put the latch back down. Same thing for all these cables. Um, then you got the CMOS battery to remove that. You just push it inwards and then you can pop it up. Let me zoom back out. All right, let's see what else. Um, you got the RAM here. So the sticks of RAM to remove it, you just pull these latches to the side and the RAM will pop up just like that. The type of RAM is eight gigs PC4 2400T. So if you wanna upgrade your RAM, as long as you get PC4 2400T, you can upgrade it to whatever size you want. All right. So to put it back, you put it back at an angle and then you just push it down. All right. Uh, let's see here. We got the SSD that I need to show here. So to remove the SSD, it's very simple. Just take the one screw out. Okay. Once you get the screw out, you can lift it slightly at an angle and then just wiggle and pull it back. Okay. So that's how you remove the SSD. The um, optical drive is, oops, zoom back out. So the optical drive is held in with a screw down here. Okay, so if you want to take it out, you'd have to remove that screw. And also there's two screws towards the side back here. Okay, um, if you want, some people, they replace this with another uh, hard drive adapter. So they do sell adapters that fit the optical drive for a second hard drive. Um, here you can see the 
USB ports um, and the uh, LAN or Ethernet port, they're connected with this cable. So if you need to replace that board, you can. You just have to take this metal bracket off. There's two screws holding this metal bracket in place. And then you might have to also lift up the hinge. I'm not going to take everything out because I'm just upgrading the SSD for this customer and I don't want to risk messing up anything. Um, here you can see the... Uh, oops. Sorry, zooming out way too much. So on this side, you can see the uh, um, charge port or DC jack. So you can remove that just like all these other cables with the wings on them. Um, you got this connector here. I'm not sure what this is for. I think it's for a speaker. Um, I don't see where the speaker is though. Um, then you got the LCD LVDS cable. Same thing like these. You just flip up the little black latch and then you can pull it out. All right, the GPU and CPU are soldered to the board, so you can't remove it. Um, and then you got the fan connector, same thing to remove it, just like the others. Um, you just grab the wings and you just wiggle it and it'll pop out. Um, just keep wiggling it just like the battery. Okay, you got the fan here. It's held in place with the two screws here. Um, then you got another speaker connector here for this, I believe this speaker. Then the wireless card, there's one screw holding it in place. When you remove the screw, you can pop it up like the RAM and pull it out. Um, the antenna to remove, you just pull up on the tail, just like all my other videos. So it'll pop off just like that. Put it back, just line it up. All right. And then make sure it's lined up properly, and then you can push it back down, okay? All right, there we go. So that's pretty much all there is to this model. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe so that others can find my videos and that'll help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.